So this video is about how to create different outfits using accessories. That's why I'm sporting a much more natural look today, which is quite unusual for me. Um, I mean, I never, I don't usually wear particularly heavy foundation, but um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I usually like not necessarily crazy makeup, but I, I like to, you know, I, I like to have earrings, um, necklaces, not always, but certainly bright coloured lipstick is something that you usually see me wearing, not wearing any of those today. <laughs> I just wanted to be able to start out with a blank slate, so I'm going to start out with this. So I have plain black top, no earrings in as yet, no necklaces, so no jewellery. Um, I just have basic, um, basic makeup and no bright lipstick, nothing else. So I just wanted to start with, you know, a, a fairly blank canvas and then I'll start layering on top of this. The reason I thought it would be really great to do this is because, you know, in some ways it's so simple. It, it took me a long time to sort of get into fashion and to be able to put things together. It was something that I found really hard just trying to figure that out. But when I did get into things, you know, I, I firstly got into really alternative, um, sort of creative type dressing, um, very punk goth sort of clothing. Um, for any of you who've watched my videos, you probably know that already. And so those were the kind of things I got into. And especially now, I like to wear what I would see as like very special pieces. Like they're pieces that wouldn't necessarily mix and match easily. I mean, you can mix and match them, but they, they would all be very individual pieces in themselves. And so that means that when it comes to the summertime, I've always found it really quite difficult trying to dress for the summer because I usually like to layer. So I like to I like to wear tops, I don't know, tops, waistcoats, jackets. So often the top that I'm wearing isn't necessarily the important thing. Um, you know, what's underneath it might be the jacket or the blazer that's over that really makes it, or else I'm wearing or else it is about or else it's all about the top. That can be the case as well with me, but it's usually I really like tops with long sleeves. Um so long sleeves, really elaborate sleeves, um, things like 70s bell sleeves, kimono sleeves, anything like that, puffed sleeves as well. And obviously at the moment it's summer and in with the heat that we've been having recently, it, it's it's just not possible um, to dress that way. So I've always felt at times, especially before I got my tattoos, I used to feel quite blank. Um, and so I, I think this is, you know, this might be helpful for people, um, especially for people who do usually like to layer. Because we've been in lockdown, it's kind of given me the opportunity to sort of go through my wardrobe and to look at everything that I have. And when it came into summer, I was like, right, okay, what the hell am I going to wear? And, you know, what do I have that I can use? Um, so I've been going through and, you know, I, I've picked out a few things. I'm not someone who has hordes and hordes of accessories. Um, that's definitely not something that I have right now. So, you know, I've just been picking, you know, pulling out whatever it is that I do have, which is why, you know, I think it might, I think it might be fun for us to go through this because, you know, for, um, for anyone who's like me, who doesn't have loads of accessories and who also doesn't have loads of summer pieces, then, you know, maybe we can, Maybe this is a way that we can sort of pull together some ideas. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go one piece at a time and then we're going to layer it. So first layer, let's start with, I think we'll start with waistcoat and do it that way. Okay, so I've I've had this, I've had this a long time. Um, I actually think it was bought in Primark or Pennies, which definitely isn't somewhere I usually shop, but I think... God, I think either I bought this or my mother bought this when I was about maybe 15 or 16, something like that. But it is something that I, I have actually gotten a lot of wear out of because it, it's denim. And it's, you know, this in particular definitely is something that has lasted and I, I've worn it a lot. So this is the waistcoat in full view. Quite like the shape, actually. I find that waistcoats are particularly helpful for anyone who, you know, identifies as being particularly androgynous because they, they really help with that androgynous look for me. And now adding the hat. Again, this is a fairly androgynous look. Yeah, I really feel like this adds to it. 
This next waistcoat is actually, I, I, re I really particularly love this. Um, it used to be my mother's, so it was my mother's, and she passed it down to me. Apparently it is uh, Country Casuals, apparently. <laughs> Um, yeah, I tend to prefer it with cream, um, but I don't have much that's cream and white right now, so I think we'll just put this on as is. I could have put the waistcoats with the scarves, but I kind of felt like, I don't know, I, I kind of felt like it, it didn't really go the way that I wanted it to, so I've removed the waistcoats and I think we're just going to go the scarf route. So I've, I've worn this in some of my Instagram posts recently, and I, I haven't worn this in ages, and I really like it. It's Desigual, um, and I, I really, I really particularly like their stuff. Um, yeah, I, I feel like, I mean, I think there's some purple on here, but it's, it's mostly pink. And I really love this colour of shocking pink. Like, I didn't used to be into pink at all, but I, I really like how, how shocking the colour is, because it's a really strong colour. And so I feel like this can add, like, a little bit of femininity, but at, at the same time, not too much. I have this purple Desigual scarf as well. I wear Desigual quite a bit, actually. I feel like wearing it like this is kind of a more summery look, whereas if you're, if it's winter, I feel like I'd be more inclined to wear it in a way that's going to cover me more. But yeah, I, I kind of feel like it's probably a bit hot in terms of the weather for us to actually wear it like this. I also have this mustard scarf from Zara, which I really, really like. This is actually a favourite. Um, oh. Gosh, I feel, really feel like you need to fold it in order to in order to get it the right way. But the only thing with this in the summer is it's really, really heavy. It's really, a, it's very thick. It's really a winter scarf. But the reason I'm showing it is because it's it's almost. I feel like it's more of a shawl. I feel like it's more of a shawl than a scarf. So if it's cold in the evenings, then it's something that you can wear more like a shawl. <laughs> I was actually thinking, as I was putting all this together, I was thinking how much I love all of these colours together, but unfortunately, in terms of the scarves, because together it's all so thick, I don't think there's actually a way for us to get them together, but I, I wish we could, because I just, I love these three colours all together. Although, I don't think you necessarily need to take that much coloured contrast. So if you if you look at this contrast, for example, all you really need is just the shocking pink with the gold. And it's a contrast that stands out really clearly, I think. And now we're back to a fairly basic alternative look. Add hat. Add waistcoat. And we're back at androgynous. <laughs> and that's without having to change your top once. <laughs> I just think it's a really easy way to like put outfits together and to create new outfits, you know, without having to have, you know, more pieces than you actually own and without having to wear more, um, without having to wear more layers than is, you know, actually realistic in the heat. I hope it gives you maybe some ideas of what you might be able to do, because I know that I've been trying to sort of spark my thinking and my creativity a bit to think what it is that I can wear at the moment with the heat. So, you know, I hope maybe you get some ideas. And if you do, then, you know, please share them with me. Um, if you liked the video, then, you know, please hit the like button and, you know, please comment as well. Or you can go over to my Instagram and comment on there. I'll leave the handle down below. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, then please hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon. <laughs>